Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna do a what I eat in a day. Currently, I am eating to fuel my workouts, to fuel my lifting sessions, my cardio sessions. I'm eating to heal and balance my hormones, my thyroid, my symptoms surrounding my period. I'm eating for gut health. I'm just eating for overall like health, immunity, function, balance, all the things. And I honestly feel the best that I have felt in years. And for a while, I was just kind of like cutting out different food groups or only eating certain things, you know, cutting out gluten, cutting out dairy. I thought that that would heal my gut. I thought that that would heal my skin. And um, I even did a bunch of like food sensitivity tests. I talk about a lot of this on Instagram. But what it came down to for me was not about cutting things out. It was about like really dialing in my nutrition and fueling my body with a good amount of carbs, with a good amount of protein, with a good amount of calories and actually just fueling my body in a nourishing way and actually just eating more food, um, not cutting anything out, eating things in moderation, taking joy in what I'm eating. And that has healed so many of these symptoms that I've had and it has also just healed a lot of the food noise like I don't think about food all day I don't have cravings all day I feel satisfied with my meals and so I feel fueled during my workouts so I wanted to share with you a bit of what I eat in a day typically right now I do kind of like rotate between a few different breakfasts a few different lunches a few different dinners I don't go too crazy I keep it pretty simple but I figured I would share with you what I'm eating today and just like a normal random day I don't have anything like planned out in advance. So we'll have to go grab stuff for dinner at some point, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring you through my day and kind of show you how I feel my workouts and how I fuel the rest of the day to feel my best. By the way, this is my new channel that you're watching. I believe this is my fourth video. So if you wanna see a little bit more in depth on my morning routine, you can check out last week's video. I also have a meal prep video and a welcome to my new channel. So go ahead and check those out. Please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you're liking it so far. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments and let's get started. Let's bring it back to 6.30 a.m. today. So for breakfast today, I am fueling after my workout. I have some carbs. This is the mush overnight oats. I talked about this breakfast in last week's video, my morning routine. I'm still obsessed with it. It's truly my favorite. I get the blueberry mush from Costco. It's my favorite flavor. I topped it with a little cinnamon. I also have some Costco turkey bacon that I burnt and it's cold. Some berries and some egg whites. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna eat a little bit and then we'll chat. All right, I'm feeling a little better. I was getting like lightheaded. I was so hungry after my workout. Normally I don't do cardio and a strength session on the same day, but we're going on a little mini vacation this weekend and I had time today to fit in both so I don't miss one this weekend. So I just figured I would do both, but I am like starving. I'm also on day three of my period. so carb loading after my workout, fueling my body with carbs and protein. So that's what the mush is for. It's so good. It's really great ingredients. It's coconut milk, oats, blueberries, and sea salt. So I love this. You can top it with the berries full of antioxidants, gets you some great fiber, some vitamins, and they taste amazing. I love a little like sugar after a workout. It just helps me feel better. Um, the turkey bacon and the egg whites are for protein. I love egg whites because it's like just a complete protein and I think they taste really great. I 
I have not had them like this in a while. And so when I first started making them, I just didn't have it right. But now I've figured out how to make them like taste really good. Basically, you kind of have to overcook them in a way. I don't know. Turkey bacon. Not my all time favorite taste wise, but it gives me some great like lean protein, which I want. I try to get a lot of my carbs and my protein in in the first half of my day. So that way at night, I'm not snacky. I'm not craving things. I'm not overly hungry. So basically I front load my meals, my biggest meals breakfast. We work our way down. So I'm gonna finish eating this and then we're gonna go get a coffee. Let's go get a coffee. So we stopped at Publix because I needed some groceries tonight for dinner and I just had to grab a couple things. So I figured I'd share with you the things that are relevant. My current favorite, Drizzlicious rice cakes, mini rice cakes, you guys. These are so good. The cinnamon swirl ones, I don't, and the s'mores ones, they taste like something from when I was a kid and I don't know what, some type of like cereal or treat. They're so good and you know, just kind of like a little rice cake with a little frosting on top. So I know I like the cinnamon swirl ones, but Julian really likes them too. And I saw they had birthday cake. I'm not a huge like birthday cake person, but I figured we could give it a try. Oh, these ones don't have as much. Mmm, frosting. Mmm, really good. Cinnamon swirl is my favorite. If you like cinnamon sugar, churros type, type stuff, you'll love them. They're like my favorite little I like to put them on top of Greek yogurt or just eat it by itself. So tonight I think I'm gonna do like a protein pasta with chicken in like a pesto. So I grabbed some chicken, which I probably have some in the freezer, but I didn't take it out in time. Some spinach. I try to do a lot of veggies. I try to get in a lot of fiber, but I try to do vegetables that are a little bit gentler on the stomach. They don't cause bloating and discomfort. So for me, it's things like spinach, it's things like green beans, it's things like cucumber, that kind of stuff. My absolute favorite right now are blackberries. They are buy one, get one free, so I got that. So for the pasta, I'm gonna do, I got a little cream, I got a little pesto, the spinach, the chicken, some onion and garlic. I got some red pepper flakes, and then I will show you the type of pasta that I'm gonna use. All right, I thought I had a different like pasta shape, but this is the one that I like. It's the Barilla Protein Plus. I thought I had the rotini, like the short little noodles. That's what I wanted to use, but I must have ate it. So I'm just gonna use this tonight because that's what I have, but it's the same thing. It was just like a different shape, you know, a little bit better for the style, but whatever, it's fine. This is the one I like. Um, it tastes pretty good to me. I think it tastes like regular pasta. I think it's made with chickpeas and it's got 10 grams of protein. So we'll use this tonight. So right now I'm gonna throw my lunch together. I figured I would share with you kind of my like little hyper fixation meals and things that I've been loving. So I either eat this pretty much every day for snack or for lunch. So today I'm just gonna have it for lunch because I have two things that I've been rotating between and I wanna show you both. So I'm gonna have this for my lunch. Now I really try to get in my salmon, my fatty fish and I had never done canned salmon. And um, you know, it's great for your hormone health. It's great to get those good omegas in the DHEA. So I try to do it often. And this is just like the easiest way if you don't feel like cooking salmon all the time. If you like tuna salad, you'll like this. Um, I, when I first got it, I was like, I just don't think I'm gonna like that. Like, it just sounds gross if you haven't had it. Like, it just doesn't sound good. But I know I like tuna salad. So I started making this and it's actually really good. And I'd recommend you try it out. I grabbed the big pack of this from Costco. It is wild salmon. That's also what I like. It's really hard to find good quality, like wild caught salmon. I don't really like like that stock eye salmon. I just don't like the taste of it. But this tastes really good. This might even be that, but I just I just don't like the way those fillets cook. So this is an easy way for me to get in my salmon. 
So I make this and then I eat half and I'll save the other half for tomorrow or the next day. That's about how long we'll keep it for, just like a day or two. So do the whole can. Then go in with Greek yogurt. My favorite is the Costco one. That's the organic, plain, non-fat Greek yogurt. I also love Faye, but this is better. If like you don't have Costco, get the Faye one. But if you do, this one is much creamier and it's just so good. I love it. And it's a huge container. I use this if I'm having like a yogurt bowl, but I also use this in place of sour cream. Like today I'm using it in place of mayo. So I use it in place of a lot of things for recipes. It's a great way to get added protein and it just, it really fill, fills you up and fuels you up. So I'm gonna do, let's see, probably like a half serving, 85 grams. And then I like to throw in, which I need to get more, this sweet relish, the Heinz. I feel like this lunch is also really great because you don't have to have a ton of stuff on hand. Like the stuff isn't gonna go bad fast. So it's great to just like keep in your pantry and keep in your fridge. And then if there's a day when you really need groceries or you don't have anything, this is a really great high protein, really filling healthy lunch for you. You can even take it on the go. Okay, so I do a little pepper, a little salt. This is pink salt. I try to get in a good amount of salt in my day because I'm sweating a lot, I'm outside a lot, and I just need to replenish. So do some salt in there. And then I really like this Trader Joe's Green Goddess seasoning in there. This has minced onion, garlic, chives, green onion, spinach powder, lemon powder, parsley. So it's a great combo for this. I'm gonna save the other half for tomorrow. And I kind of like to do mine dipping style you can do crackers you can do chips you can throw it in a wrap throw it in a sandwich however you want to eat it i just find that this way is just easy for me to whip up fast so i do some carrots i also get these from costco I'm trying to finish everything up because we're going on vacation this weekend and i just kind of want to use up all of the groceries and all the things that we have any cucumber all right, I found the pasta. This is the one I'm gonna to use tonight, the chickpea rotini. This one also, ha this one has 12 grams of protein. So this is what we're gonna to use tonight. This will just be a little bit better, but you can get that at Publix or wherever. Some crackers, the Mary's Gone crackers. I like these because they have three grams of fiber and they have really great like healthy fats for you. Pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, flax, sesame. And there's like a nice little crunch. So sometimes I add these, sometimes I don't. I typically eat this for a snack. I'm just kind of flip-flopping my meals today. So that's why it's kind of like a random lunch. Time for my afternoon snack. So this has been my current favorite lately. I have it once a day, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or snack, or dessert, it is so good. And I just have become completely obsessed with it. And like, I have to have it every single day. I don't know why, but it is just so good. Like. I noticed that eating a lot more protein and eating a lot more carbs helps really curb my sweet cravings. And it's funny, like this actually tastes like a sweet treat to me and it's just so filling, it's fiber, it's just so good for you. So this would even be really great post-workout because it has the carbs and it has the protein, but it's the Dave's Killer Bread, it's organic, it's the whole wheat, that's what you want, the whole wheat, because this has three grams of fiber, four grams of protein, and 21 grams of carbs. So it's just really great macros actually, so I, toast a piece of this in my toaster. I like it super toasted. And I'll show you how we top it off and make it very good. All right, so we're gonna top our toast with some cottage cheese. At first, I did not like this brand and now I get the hype. I don't know, I just had to like buy it and try it a few different times. So it's the low fat, good culture. It's drier in a weird way, but it just makes it better. I don't know, it's just drier and smaller and it tastes really good. So I like the low fat, good culture. And I got this on accident, ground Saigon cinnamon, but I think it's better than, what's the other cinnamon? Ceylon cinnamon, it just tastes so good. It has a lot of flavor. And then I love local raw honey. This is really great for allergies, seasonal allergies, immunity. And it's a nice way like, you know, unrefined sugar, but have some sweetness. So that, I know it's kind of a weird combo, but it works and it's so good. And even Julian was like, that does not look good. And he tried it and he's like, more, more. He liked it a lot. So it's kid approved. I think you'll really love it. 
Yes, I'm using a paper plate because I do not feel like having any more dishes today. So, load this up. So good. Dinner time. So normally I would just be making this at dinner time, but I'm filming this like an hour or two early before the kids get home and the craziness begins. So I'll be eating this at dinner, but I'm gonna prep it now. This is one thing that I really like to do is make extra meat. So we have stuff for the next day. Like you saw at lunch, I made that salmon salad and I made extra for the next day. So if we weren't gonna be traveling, I'd probably be making double this amount, but this will be good for now. So it's really nice outside lately. And I like to put Michael to work to make the meat for me. Half the battle is like getting the meat cooked. Prepping it isn't very fun either, but it's okay. So I'm just gonna slice this up into bite-sized pieces. You could do chicken breasts, you could do chicken tenderloins. I've never made this before, really. I'm just like, well, I'm just doing grilled chicken, but in terms of like this pesto pasta, I'm just kind of winging it, making it up as I go. Hopefully it'll taste good, it sounds good. Usually just like buy pesto and that's all I do, but I'm gonna add a little bit to it tonight. So if you notice that evenings and afternoons are crazy for you too, and you also have little kids, I suggest prepping your meat beforehand. So like, whatever we're doing, say we're doing like fajitas or we're doing, I don't know, just whatever, anything where we're gonna use meat. I will like prep it and marinate it a little bit beforehand and just have it ready in the fridge. That way when we're ready to eat, I don't have to do all the cutting and prepping. We can just actually cook it. That's also nice if you don't feel like meal prepping. Just a little bit of avocado oil. And I'm gonna do the same seasoning. I feel like it'll be good, this green goddess that I did earlier. Just throw this on here. This has some salt, so I don't even think I'll need to add salt. And then I like this Kinders. This is the caramelized onion butter. I wanna have kind of that like buttery flavor. Why not? So add a little bit of this and then we'll get this onto the grill. So you could just season this up like this, throw it in a Ziploc bag, throw it in your fridge and then just grill it or cook it whenever you're ready to, if you wanna do that. While the chicken is on the grill, I have some water boiling. I'm gonna cook up that protein pasta. And I'm also going to get the spinach cooked. You could add, you could probably add like mushrooms to this. I feel like that would be good too. I'm just gonna do some fresh garlic and some onion. And you don't have to grill your chicken. Like just make it however you like to make chicken. chicken on top and then we can just heat this up at dinner time. I'll let it cool for a little bit before I pop it in the fridge. Oops. I just wanna eat it now, it's really good. Really, really good. Ooh, and I'm gonna probably throw some red pepper flakes on it. When I eat it, you could sprinkle a little extra Parmesan or basil on top. It hits the spot, it's savory and creamy and Yum, so good. It'll be super filling, super high protein, get some fiber, get some veg. Great, great balanced, easy dinner or lunch. Mm -hmm. 